everyone. Welcome to Scratch Junior. Uh, today we are going to extend on the skills in my past videos. Our challenge question for th today is can I make my character dribble a basketball? Okay, so today our character is going to be Scratch and we are going to have him dribble a basketball. The very first step is our background. We want to change our background to the basketball court. Remember, if you'd like to change your background, you go up to the top and press this button right here. Okay, then as you can see, you can scroll down until you get to the basketball court. I'm going to click on the gym and then press the check sign or you could double click. Now, we are going to use Scratch Junior for this project, so I am going to leave Scratch on our screen. However, we know that Scratch does need a basketball, so we are going to add a new character. On the left side of your screen, you're going to press that plus sign to add a new character. Scroll down until you get to the basketball and press OK. If at any point you need to press pause so that you can do the activity, feel free to press pause and plus press play whenever you are ready. So now we're going to move our characters to their starting places. If you have a mouse and a computer, you can click and drag. If you have an iPad or a tablet, you can also press on the characters and drag them to move them. So I'm going to press put scratch on the side of our screen right here and we are going to put the basketball right in his hand okay now we know a part of coding is these characters are not going to move unless we tell them to we have to put the codes on scratch and on the basketball in order to have them move our first program is going to be scratch so click on the cat character for Scratch so that we can give him a code. Now, when we he is dribbling the basketball, he is moving to the right across the court. So we are going to press our yellow start codes. I want him to start when I click my green flag. So I am going to click my green flag and drag it down. That is my start code. Now, if we want Scratch to dribble across the court, then we need him to move. So the blue movement codes in this direction. But well, this number still says one. So if we move him in one space, he's not going to move very far. We want him to move all the way from the number two all the way to the number 18. So. How many spaces does he need to move? Well, if you do the math, if we want him to dribble all the way to 18, we can do 18 minus two, or we can count the number of spaces to go all the way across. That number is 16. So I'm going to press on that number one and change it to 16 spaces. Now, of course, we don't want Scratch going 16 spaces forever, so we need to add that stop code. The red is our stop code, and we're going to have him stop. So if I press the green button, we see that Scratch is moving, but what about the basketball? So we need to code the basketball so that the basketball is also moving with Scratch. Now, if we want the basketball moving with Scratch, we need to have the same program as Scratch. So as we see, he's moving 16 spaces. We need to do the same thing for the basketball. So I'm going to drop my start code the same direction. And I'm also putting the same number, 16, with my stop code. But we know that a basketball 
does not just go straight across. It looks like it's stuck in his hand. We want him to actually dribble the ball. We need to put another code on the basketball for the ball to dribble. I am also going to use my same start code. Now, I want him, the dribbling, to go over and over. I want it to be repeated. If you want to repeat a code, we click on the orange button. And this code right here lets us repeat something. So this will repeat four times. What do we want him to repeat? Well, the ball has to go up and down. So our blue movement code for up and down is the hop. We want this to go up and down one time. Once you are ready, we need to add our stop code. We want, don't want the ball dribbling forever, so let's add our stop code. All right, now that you have the basketball programmed, let's give it a try. I always like going full screen so that you can see it. Pressing my green flag for the start sign. And there he goes, dribbling the ball down the court. If you would like to make a challenge for yourself, here is a challenge question. Can you make the cat shoot the ball into the basket? Can you have other characters moving at the same time? All right, let's see if you can do it. Thank you for coming to Scratch Junior. I will be having a next video very soon.